Before we start the video guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you do end up enjoying this video, please drop a like. Thank you. In this video, we're going over the G-Lit Stella and LL120. The LL120 is going to be on the left, it's a $45 fan, and the G-Lit Stella is on the right, a $7 fan. We're going to look at pros and cons of both fans. The first thing that we're looking at is the RGB. So which one has better RGB? If I'm honest, the LL120 does have better RGB. But is it by a whole lot? In my opinion, no. I've seen both of these run in person and the LL120 looks slightly better, but it is better. So now we're going to talk about RGB software. For software, I'm going to give it to the Corsair fan because of IQ's just much more easy to use than some of this motherboard software. But the Glit Cell does have software and you can use motherboard software or any other type of software you want. It does use the 3 pin RGB connector. So let's talk about fan performance. The Glit Stella is hands down the better fan. The Glit Stella uses double ball bearing and the LL120 uses a hydraulic bearing. So basically what this means is that the Glit Stella is a fan that's going to last longer and perform well longer. So here's an example of the performance of the Glit Stella. It may not be the best example, but it is an example. You can see that this thing is really pushing my hair. Well, if we take a look at the LL120, it barely does anything to my hair like it doesn't push it doesn't really move it but this again isn't the best most accurate example but you can get an idea of the fans you can get an idea of which one is a better performing fan so let's talk about the fans connections both use PWM which is good for being able to customize your fan curve and set different RPMs for the fans but let's talk about the cable connections for RGB. I really hate that Corsair uses a proprietary connector. Basically allows them to make more money and overcharge things. I like that Glit Stellas are using a 3 pin which will work with a lot of different controllers and softwares. And finally I wanted to show you guys how I set up the RGB on both fans or on the LL120 specifically without having the correct RGB controller for the LL120. So basically what I did was I set the Glit fan RGB. Then I got the proprietary connector from the LL120, put it into the RGB controller on the GLID. I would place it in, place it out a few times until the color would actually match. At first it'd be random colors and then finally the color would match with the GLID cello. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to tell you guys about that. See right here you can see me replacing it putting it back in until the color will eventually match. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, I do wish Corsair didn't use proprietary connectors because it just makes it a bigger hassle to have fans. It just makes them more expensive and more problematic in my opinion. So here is my verdict. If you're someone who's on a budget and money matters to you and you want good RGB and good performance, go with the Glit Stella. Otherwise, if you have a lot of money, don't really care for performance but care for looks, and you want that Corsair ecosystem with the IQ, go with the Corsair fan. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did like this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. So, if you see any other video here you like, make sure to click it and watch it. Thank you.